What's up guys, I'm gonna show you how to play Come True by H.E.R. featuring Chris Brown. We got the capo on the first fret just to make the song super easy. We have our introduction where we just got a nice a simple guitar melody out there and then for the whole song it's uh just four chord four line chord i mean four chord chord progression so super easy let's have a look at the chord shapes i know you guys are having the cable on the first fret right let's proceed the first chord will be a e minor which is zero two two zero 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 you can even play a e minor seven chord which is nothing but open second open 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 that's more easier i think this is one of the most easiest chord on guitar uh, just one string C major mute 3 2 open first open G 3 2 open 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 3 uh, then we have a, a minor 7 very important chord mute open second open first open and then a B7 which is mute 2 1 2 open mute now you can just play the whole song with your thumb uh, it's that easy so the intro starts out like this might think what are these shapes so I start playing the open E string so it's on that E minor chord so I play the open E string and then I do a hammer on to a pull off from open to one to open on the B string and then I play third fret on the E string and then I just line up like this uh, I got uh, 5 4 3 on the DGB respectively I play DGB And then I play the open A string. Now that's on the A minor 7 chord. And then I do a slide from 2 to 4, back to 2 on the G string. And then I play the open D string. An open G string. And then I actually use my index to bar the A, D, G second frets. And my ring is on the fourth fret of the D string. I strum the A, D, G string all together. Only the A, D, G. So the whole but if you put together it sounds something like this So make sure you match this, now you can add some more variation on this uh, stuff for the intro, but uh, I'm least bothered about that. Uh, now guys, let's talk about the whole song. Uh, we have verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and that's how the song goes on. So let's have a look at the verse of the song firstly. We start with the E minor chord, or E minor 7, then a G, then a A minor 7 to a B7. Now, a quick tip, what are you going to do bef before coming to the B7 chord is basically play this thing, like this. You are playing 2nd fret on the E, open A, open D. Uh, this is my tip, this is not there in the song. So we got E minor 7, or E minor, it's your wish, G, E minor 7. Repeat that another chant. And then the next time when you play, the chord progression just changes slightly. Instead of playing that G major chord, you're gonna play a C major chord. And you can just clearly hear that a certain difference is there, which is a C major chord. So we want that. Right? So we got. C, A minor 7. And surprisingly, this is the chord progression for all the courses of the song. We have three verses, three choruses. So for the verse, that's how it goes on. You can see everything down uh, there in that line, uh, chord progression. Otherwise, uh, this last line is basically the whole chorus. So we're going to play E minor 7, G, I'm sorry, E minor 7, C, E minor 7, B7. Really, we don't have something a lot confusing for the song, so just want to keep it over here. I hope this video helps you out, guys. Make sure to drop one of these. Subscribe to the channel. Bye.